welcome to today's video for someone who doesn't like the color red I am wearing a lot of red today and it was a very easy look to achieve but it's not my favorite it was almost a disaster and you'll see that in the video where it almost didn't come together but I made it work and you see how so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look keep on watching Alright guys, so I'm starting out with the eyes. I already applied my foundation and concealer and I'm going straight in with the eyes. I'm using the NYX Vivid Brights in Bad, Bad Blood. And this is a very rich red and that's exactly what I want. I have a lot of palettes here and I only have like two palettes that have a true red which is weird because none of the other ones have any kind of red. They're all pink or orange. So I'm starting out with these and this is drying. It's new, I've only used it once and it's already dry. So what I'm gonna do is add a little drop of oil, whatever base oil that you have. I'm just gonna add it on there. Just one is, um, should be enough. And then with a brush, I'm gonna mix that all together. All right, and then with the same brush, I'm gonna apply that directly to the eyelid. I already have um, concealer on my eyelid, as I always do. I use the Maybelline Concealer to Prime. So let's go right in. Yeah, this is a very bright red. I think I need, I think it's a little drying, dry still, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. That is very, very, very bright. And that's exactly what I want. I want something very red, very bright, doesn't look pink. And then with a different brush like so, I'm going to go ahead and um, blend that. Bam, bam, bam. And then with the Kat Von D palette, this is the Fetish palette. I had this for a while. Actually, not that long. Less than a year at this. And this is the only palette that I have that has a true red, this one right here. I do have another um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that has these two right here, but they look kind of pink. So I want something brighter, I want something red, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab a different brush and apply this red right on top of the one that we added. Because I added oil to this, I don't want it to crease. I want, so basically what I'm doing is like setting the first eyeshadow that I added. And then with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it up as well. And then with another clean brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab that and blend everything. Guys, this is pretty much a disaster. This, this thing right here is just not working out. It's breaking apart. It's flaking. I've tried to add, I did add this. Um, this one on top, it's not doing anything. If you can see how patchy, how flaky it is. I've used this even when I bought it. It was, I opened it, it came with a little plastic so it wasn't used. I opened it, it was already dry. And I did use the same amount of drops that I used today, the oil. And it came out decent. It's not, it wasn't like this. And I used... I use um, powder eyeshadow on top of it so it was it's the same technique that I'm using right now and it came out decent right now it's just not working and I really had high hopes for these and I bought three of them same thing the yellow one I added a little bit of a uh, drop 
of oil. I put it on. It was good. But as you can see, it's already cracking because of how dry it is. And then I have this blue one that I have not used at all. I just swatched it right now. I try to grab it with my finger and it's so dry. Ugh. It's so dry. This is like it makes me upset when you like when you purchase something and you have high hopes for it and it just doesn't work. So if you see these anywhere, don't waste your money. They're not worth it. They look cute and they kind of look like the Maybelline ones, the the color tattoo. These are actually so much better than this one's old, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. This one's old, it's already dry, it's you know, whatever. But it did not come dry the first time I used it. You know what I mean? Like brand new, like these ones right here. So don't waste your money, don't buy them. These are going in the trash. But you know, this is real life. This is what happens. Like I have those moments where I'm trying to, you know, putting on my makeup and it doesn't come out the way I want it to come out and it happens. So let's just go ahead and finish this off. I'm gonna, uh, I'm trying to blend everything. I'm trying to make it look pretty. I'm trying to, I don't know. So let's just continue, all right? So let's put that aside and I'm gonna add glitter to this because maybe that helps it a little bit. So I'm gonna add glitter to it to try to save it. When in doubt, add glitter, right? So I'm gonna go in with another NYX Blues Glitter. I've used this in the past, they're great, they're wonderful. And I'm gonna add glitter glue to the eyelid. There we go. So I'm gonna grab the same red, this one right here, and just I'm just gonna connect the lower part and the upper one. I'm just gonna connect these two like so. And to add a little bit of highlight on my inner corner, I'm gonna spray my going to spray my brush and with this Milani palette I'm going to grab this gold right here. I feel like we need something other than just red. Okay. So I'm just going to grab that and put it right on the inner corner. And I'm gonna line my line my lines. I'm gonna add eyeliner to my waterline and I can find it. I'm gonna use this black one by Pixi. It is very beautiful, very silky, and it goes on super smooth. I also want to formally announce you guys that I wing eyeliner. I almost never do wing eyeliner. And yesterday I was doing my makeup and just, you know, playing around like I always do. And I decided to add eyeliner, like a wing eyeliner. And I just don't like the way it makes me look. It makes my eyes, I already have small eyes anyway, but it makes my eyes a lot smaller. And somehow it makes my face face bigger does that even make sense like it looks really good on other people but I feel like my eye shape the way my eyelids are shaped like I don't have a crease my I have hooded eyelids and when you when I add a wing liner to my eyes it just makes I feel like
feel like it makes the eyeshadow go completely away and makes everything look smaller. Even when I'm wearing super long eyelashes, it just doesn't look good on me. And it's not that I wear a winged eyeliner anyway, like once in a while uh, I'll add it. But <sighs> I'm officially saying that I will no longer be wearing a winged eyeliner. Not that you guys care, but just letting you guys know. Like it makes like have you have you guys seen like makeup on other people and they're like oh and you're like wow that looks it looks so good and then you try it and it looks like a disaster you know what I mean well that's it I don't usually wear black eyeliner either on my waterline I like to go for a dark brown I like to go for color eyeliners um I mentioned before that Sephora has really good eye pencils um the colors are beautiful and i like to grab something more colorful but today i feel like everything is so red that i wanted to go ahead and grab a black eyeliner so that's it <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna be using pink eyelashes like i always do so um i'm just gonna go for this is my newest mascara this is from thai cosmetics you see my other videos i've been using this a lot so I'm going to quickly add that and then I'm going to um, add eyelashes. Okay guys, I added eyelashes and I use the Kiss Ever Easy eyelashes that I've been loving the Kiss eyelashes because they're so lightweight. I said that before. And I will continue to use that. So let's move on to the face. I'm going to be bronzing out my face with the e.l.f. bronzer. This is in the color Forever Sun Kiss. I've been loving this because it adds such a beautiful color to the face. It's not orange. It's not too brown. It's just very beautiful. So I'm going to grab a brush and darken up my face. So I'm also going to be using a fake bronzer. You can get these at Sally's just to add more color to the face and a little bit more shimmer. And for lipstick, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with lipstick. I didn't know if I wanted something nude or something to go with the eyes and just be super dramatic today. Red and red. So, I decided to be super dramatic today. So I'm going to be lining my lips with the with the Wet n Wild eye, or why do I always say eye pencil? Is lip liner. This is the gel lip liner. And this is in the color Plum Together. And I'm also going to be using a Maybelline matte lipstick. This is called Divine Wine. So let's go ahead and apply that super quick. And to finish off, I'm going to be using a Maybelline highlighter. This is in the color Molten Rose Gold. And I feel like it goes with this look because everything is red. And I want this to be a little bit more of a grossy pink. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and add this. Cover yourself up in highlighter. Oh. And then to set this look, I'm going to be using my favorite setting spray at the moment. This is the Magic Mist and Set, the Matte Magic Mist and Set by e.l.f. So I will be adding this real quick.
Alright guys, so this is the finished look. This is my favorite look of all time. Not at all. I was not expecting this. I wanted something, I had something else picture in my head. And you know what? I, I made it work. I finished the look. Um, you know, like I said before, things happen. Sometimes your makeup doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out. But when in doubt, add glitter. <laughs> I do like the glitter on this. I feel like it makes the look better. I don't know. Glitter makes everything look better. You know what I mean? Um, by the way, this is the color copper. Very beautiful red. I mean, it looks, it really does stick to the eyelid. The, the glitter glue, it works amazing. This little loose glitter things, they love, I love these. I have a lot of these. And like I said earlier, these are going in the trash. I don't like this. I Red is not my favorite color at all. I like red eyeshadow. I really do. But red lipstick on me, it does not look good, I don't think. I just don't feel like it looks good on me. I don't have, I don't wear a lot of red lipsticks. I have a bunch of them because I feel like every time I go out, I feel like I need to purchase a new lipstick. That's like my thing. I love makeup but lipstick really like calls my name every time I'm at the store and I feel the need to buy some and I have so many colors and a lot of the times they don't look good on me I don't think red looks good on me red lipstick I don't think it looks good on me I prefer like browns and nudes and oranges that's what I navigate to so anyway um, I don't I don't feel 100% with this look but at the end of the day you know like we made it work I feel like my nails are red everything goes together I feel like everything came together you know but not the way I wanted it to so I might end up changing my lipstick I do have to go to the store actually so I'm not gonna <laughs> go out to the store with red lipstick so anyway thank you guys for hanging out with me let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys on my next video Bye.